Kristen is here playing with Kristen and I have a small happy planner haul here um, for you all two things I ordered and one my friend Jamie sent me because she wasn't using this planner and it has no disc on it <laughs> I think she kept the disc but I already have discs for this anyway in a cover um, I have some pink discs I'm gonna put on here some tool disc and um, I'm gonna switch this cover out um, and basically what this is going to be for this is like the student layout and I'm going to be using it to keep track of my daughter's um, classes she's going to be in the eighth grade and what I did when she was staying at home is I kept track of her classes and when when a test was due um, you know and so I know there's gonna be like early out days there's gonna be days where there's no school and everything so I want to keep track of all of that so I thought I would just go through here and show you guys what this looks like I don't know what planner this is honestly i just know it's the student layout um like a color block basically um so this color scheme is the same as the planner i'm currently using for my catch-all the let go and grow is the same as that color scheme so um i'm not mad at it because the color scheme i already like and so these are the pages that we never use <laughs> i mean there we go so this is the one for july so july and most of august will not be used um, but I figured I would show you anyway, this really, um, it's, it's bright and bold, uh, like this hollow it says, never forget your worth. And this is what the monthly looks like. And then this is what the daily, I mean, the weekly looks like. So essentially, I mean, you can use this as a regular layout if you want to, if you have like different categories, if you want to do like home, you know, personal work and then your kids and all that, you easily can. Um, but I'm going to be using this for uh, my daughter's class. I want to put like each class and when things are due um, because we keep track of everything on this app called Parent Square. And I'm not a digital person. I need to see things written down. I know a lot of people are like that that are in the planning community. They need to see things written down. And so that's what I'm going to do. And then basically over here, I'm just going to like things that are coming up for her that next week I'm going to. And so it's probably it's just going to be pen to paper. Maybe if there's a holiday, I might have a holiday sticker, but I'm not going to be doing the washing and stickers and all of that because, you know, I'm going to need all the boxes. So I just want to keep track of everything. And so that is what um, these weeks look like. And July is all that color. And then we get on to August. It says just be you. And then that color right there. And then you have the pink. So I'll just go through and show you all of the different um, dividers and whatnot. And this is an 18 month planner, I believe. Uh, yes, it is an 18 month. Okay, so this is what September looks like. You are bold, unique, brave, strong, and kind. And there's September and it's like the gray. And then we have October, which is the, like the cover. I like that hollow right there. And then we have um, November, the best day. And then we have December. We have these um, really simple polka dots. It says anything is possible. And then we have January. It says stay wild. And I'm gonna be setting this up soon because um, I'll be leaving this weekend. I'll be back the day before school starts. So I wanna you know, have it all put together before then. Um, just put some disc on a different cover. Don't stop being new for February. And then this is March. Um, there we go. Has this really pretty green tab with this. I like that color scheme together, honestly. You are capable of amazing things. And then we have Wild and Happy for April. And then we have May which is this really pretty green for the divider. Embrace all that is you. And then we have June. No, June is right here. I like this um, grayish beige color, keep it up. And then July, because I know my daughter will not keep a planner, so I can keep one. <laughs> and, um, you know, my oldest daughter has a planner, but you know. Um, we have July right here. I like the leopard with the black. And then we have August. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. And then we have September. Be fearlessly authentic. And then we have October with the purple. 
And then we have November. This is really pretty with that foil and then the black and white stripe over here. Then we have a December Dare, Dream, and Do. And that is the end of the planner. So like I said, this is going to be very simple. It's probably nothing I'll even, you know, show again. Um, just because it'll be, you know, pretty boring and just pen to paper. Um, I mean, I may come back and say how it's working out. Um, if you guys ever want to see a video on that, let me know. Um, so yeah, that is that planner right there. And then this is for what I bought. Um, I mentioned this when I did a live stream that I wanted to start doing memory keeping because there's a lot of firsts coming up. Like my daughter's going to be graduating from college. My sister's getting married. Um, and my daughter in the spring will be graduating eighth grade. And there's, you know, I, I want to kind of print out some pictures from when we went to Tokyo. And then when my daughter graduated, I mean, when, when she graduated high school, I would like that picture printed out. And so I wanted to start memory keeping. Never thought I'd be a memory. Never thought I would be a memory keeper. But here we are. <laughs> um, and so one thing I was afraid about um, with memory keeping is I thought it was. I thought they were doing the memory like the planners like they used to, where it was like weekly, and that was why I was always hesitant because I didn't. I don't have. I don't have things to memory keep every day, let alone every week. So I always thought a planner would go to waste, but they've done it completely different. My friend Jane was telling me it's like a journal now, nothing goes to waste, you put it in when you want to. I was like, oh, okay. So it's a big um, planner. Um, it's been so long since I've had a big habit planner and these are metal discs, which is nice. Um, and so this is the planner right here. And I got, there was a big sticker book that I kind of held back on. Um, one, I have so many stickers that can work for this anyway. And um, and then I just got this one. Because the other one was like 19 and it's for memory keeping, but I decided just to hold off for now. So I kind of want to take this off. Um, you know, and so because the first day of school is coming up and I always take a picture of my daughter on the first day of school. And so that would be something I would want to take a picture of and then put it in here. Um, so I'm just gonna take these off. And like, look at the back cover, it's absolutely gorgeous. Take this glue off. All right, and then this is the front of it right here, which is, this thing is really, really pretty. All right. All right, get in there, okay. Okay, and so there we go right there. And this is the sticker book. I do kind of want to flip through this first since this is really small. Um, so we can get that out of the way. And so um, these are for memory keeping, these stickers right here. And it's a small book, as you can see. Um, so I just want to flip through this really quick and show you guys what it looks like. Um, so it says so much fun, love this day. And then um, this one, some more of different colors. And then there's like these circles right here, these little leaves. I like how it looks like a stamp, like a watercolor stamp. And then more love this day, but then this one right here says, um, oh my God, fun memory, so happy, best day ever. And then these right here. All right, these are like corners where you could put like a corner sheet over a picture where it looks like it's framed. And then, then we have the one, they have them in gold foil. And then you have these with the gold foil, these different shapes. I really like this one where it looks like it's offset. Um, and you have it with the circle and then you have it with the black. And then that's it. So I got this sticker, but kind of just to start out with, um, but let's flip through this. Um, today is the perfect day to be happy. This is a really, really pretty book. Um, and then the inside is the stripe. So let's, let's cut this. All right, so photo journal layout. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, some stickers in here. Okay, that's cute. 
All right. So this divider right here says, oh, what a beautiful life. And I love this. It has like the stripe layered over that floral, which is really pretty. And then um, it says, let the memories be. So, oh, so, so it's a tube. Oh, right, so it tells you the measurements of the picture, which is great because I'll probably just go to like Walgreens or something and have them printed. And, um, and then I know what size to get them in. That's great. I like that they did that. And so you can kind of write what the memory is right there, which is nice. And then you have four by sixes right there, which is nice. So where, when, who. So yeah, I cannot wait to get in here. And then you can kind of journal about it if you want to, or if you want to put more stickers, I mean, more pictures you can. Um, and um, I think with this new memory keeping line, Happy Planner also came out with like um, extensions you can add to this where they have like the little like the plastic sleeves where you can put photos in there so if you have more of this particular day or occasion that you want to share you can do that like with my sister getting married gonna be tons of pictures and so say if i was doing this of course i want to put more than one you know two pictures so i would probably you know get one of those sleeves and just add it in there so yeah my friend jamie was telling me you're going to need the expander disc as you add more pages because with the pictures and everything it's going to get bulky but i am kind of holding out on that until I feel that I need it. And so we have these right here, good times. And then it says, and then it has all the measurements for these pictures. I love, love, love this. This is great. This is like a good vacation page. And then you can write about like, if you went somewhere, um, like for San Diego, we're going back to San Diego. And so, you know, the different things that we did on each day. And then, oh, this is nice, a five by seven really really nice i love that i almost get a i almost want to get a wedding picture and put it in here i mean we got married almost 16 years ago but i mean is it too late <laughs> to have a wedding picture and so we have more of these two um these pictures right here and like these you can write on or you can add more pictures to and kind of just freelance it really really pretty all right so this, this says remember when and then there's some more journaling pages right here so you can add some sheets very nice. I like that. So this is 2.5 by 3.5. But I mean, if you really want to add a bigger picture, you can't. And I mean, these are just references. So if you want to have it fit perfectly in there, but I mean, you can pretty much put whatever size photo you want to put in here and do what you want to do with it, honestly. This is really pretty. I love like how every page is not the same. It's different. Um, and so I really like that they did that. So it doesn't seem, so every time you turn to a page, it's, it's different. All right. And so this is a four by six with some lines. You have some dot grid. Then we have some lines right here with like some paint splatters. Then this page is blank with some flowers down here. And you have more of like that first page that we saw. We have some more of these right here. So we're repeating some layouts, which I'm not mad about. More of those. And that, five by seven. So I'm assuming this first section kind of just repeats the same things over again, um, which is nice in case you want another one of the same layouts. There is an extension kit. I don't know exactly which layouts are in there, but they do have an extension. Like if you wanted to add more to this or if you, just, if you already had a memory planner and you didn't want to buy a whole new one, you can buy the extension. So there we go right there and we're just repeating some I think there might be three of each you know theme in here in this first section all right so this one says because when you stop to look around life itself is pretty amazing love this all right so okay so we have some more so maybe it's just okay so it's different dividers but it's the same thing um, that's repeating itself which I I'm fine with, you know, that way you know what sizes. It's not different sizes all the time. It's the same sizes, and so you're not overwhelmed with it all. I love the color scheme of this, and I, and the cover is what made me go for it. Um, there's another one that's very, very neutral. Jamie has that one. Um, but I really wanted the one with the florals in it, so I really love these. So I guess, you know, these are just repeating, so I guess I can just go to the different dividers and show you guys what it looks like. So this is, yeah, it's just repeating a lot. So this divider right here says make every moment count. 
and we have some more of those and then we're going all the way there's a lot of pages in here i mean it would take a long time to fill this up all right so we have this divider your happiness should be a priority and then that is the last part so there's four different dividers in here and you have a lot of those same pages that are in there which is nice but i have to say i really love this and i cannot wait to get into it and um and start filling this thing up i've never really been a person that prints pictures you know i just <laughs> i mean i have a i have a gallery wall in my house with my kids when they were small but i really wanted to start having something where you know you can easily look back on without trying to go find the pictures you know in the cloud or whatever so yeah i do hope you guys enjoyed this um, video of me flipping through all of this stuff and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that and turn the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. And I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>